We are going to be looking at some really cool GoPro accessories. Ooh. Ah, and we'll also be talking about the differences between the Hero 10, 11, and 12 because they're at different price points and one might be better for you depending on what you're looking at. One of the best um, accessories you can get with a 12, hands down, is this right here. This is the Max Lens 2.0. Now, most of these accessories that I'm going to share with you today will work on all of the cameras, um, but the Max Lens 2.0 is specifically designed for the 12. And what this is, it's a lens on here. You heard the clap. There we go. That's good. This lens is busted a little bit. I did drop it, so you might see a little bit of a scuff mark on there, right there. And uh, it does show up in the footage, which is really annoying. So I probably need to get another one soon. But it pops on your GoPro like so. You got the 2.0 on there. And to break that down, what that does is it, it just uses that um, lens to pick up a super, super wide field of view. And then it uses the software and it can like, it can crop in so it's not distorted or anything like that. And it keeps like the horizon leveled. And the big improvement with the 2.0 over the other ones with their max lens 1.0 is that you can get 4K 60 frames per second, where the other ones you would have to go to 2.5, 2. Uh, 2K 60 frames per second. So it's a jump, big jump in um, quality on the 12 with that, and it just looks a lot better. And it's magic. If you've ever played around with the max lens mod, you wouldn't believe it when you watch your footage back. So first time I ever used the Max Lens mod, I had it on a scooter and I hit like cobblestones and it, I looked back, it was like this, right? It was like that. And I was like, oh, that's gonna be terrible. And then I played it back and it was just, it was like smooth. I was like, wait, how is that possible? It literally takes all of that information and it stabilizes it like perfectly if you take if you had it like on a tripod on a uh, selfie stick and you spun it around this way if you did a flip or something it will keep the horizon locked and it will like look really cool so the only thing it doesn't do is get rid of the selfie stick which would be epic if they were able to do that maybe that's for the the next versions that are coming out but uh definitely check out the like if you get the 12 you got to get the 2.0 max lens mod if you get the 10, you got to get the Max Lens 1.0. It's still worth getting it. Even at 2K, it looks awesome. And Ken agrees. It's magic. It's magic. All right. So let's go to the next thing. Um, Telson, they have this really nice looking case. So if you have um, any of these GoPros, it'll work for that. You just kind of throw your GoPro in your backpack. You know, even though they, they can take a beating, sometimes you don't want that scuff mark. Sometimes you don't want any scratches just in case. Um, so it's kind of nice to just pop it in there. And you can see it's got like a hard, hard case, nice fabric feel. And on the inside is a really soft felt and it has the cutout for your camera. It doesn't work with your Max Lens, unfortunately. That would have been very nice. But the thing that's cool about it is there is an opening at the bottom so when you do zip it up you could still access or you could still keep it on your selfie stick so if you had a selfie stick attached here um, you could just put the case on it throw that in your bag and it will keep it safe so that is really nice and a great low price 10 bucks <laughs> if, if someone was getting like a GoPro to someone as a present and you're looking for some extra side presents this is a great one I do like it a lot and this specific one I think I've had for a couple of years now so it does hold up I can highly recommend that one right there so yeah moving on to the next one this is an interesting one because I've I reviewed this is one of my first reviews I ever made and this They've they're, they've tried to make different versions of this and have not succeeded. What this is is an auto tracker. So you're going to put your GoPro on here or your phone or anything and you're going to line it up with line it up with the there's a camera on this tracker, right? That's a camera right there. It does come with a remote. I can't remember where I put it, but I think it's over there somewhere, but we don't need it for here. 
So we're gonna power it on, and this base is gonna spin and follow. So if I put this down right here, I'm gonna go to the overhead shot. So you can watch this. It has nothing to do with the camera, but watch this, it's gonna follow me around. If I go picture in picture so you can see what I'm doing over here. So, see it follow me over here, hello. Follows me over here, all around, all around 360 degrees. Um, yeah, and then I can do hand gestures to stop it. Wait, is it this one? I can't remember. Oh no, it stopped, yeah. No, it didn't do it right, let's see. Stop. It does have like little light indicators kind of showing you what's going on. Um, as you can see right there, little light indicators. So that means it's just on. And it uses that camera to track so it's not using anything here. So that way you can have any camera on there and it will do that. It will track it around. So the other really cool thing about this specific product is you can do like time lapses, like motion time lapses. So, um, you know, go from like this side, spin over to that side um, or the other way around. So with that remote, you can actually set it up and it does like, it just takes really quick really really slow sorry I should say really slow spins and you can get some amazing time lapses especially if you're out in like a city or nature or wherever and you wanted to get that that just show everything but like in a quick time lapse way it's great they're like again they've tried to improve on this and they have not I've tested out other ones this is still the best and this specific one I've had for now um, close to three years now and you just saw it still works still works great so sometimes it might be more beneficial to have well in the case of a gopro it's good because you have the mount on here so you can kind of angle it down if you need to or up but sometimes having a little ball head on there could help too let's go on if you do have any questions make sure you ask and if i've passed a product up and you want to ask about something from before Feel free to ask, and if you're listening, if you're watching and not listening, make sure you turn your sound on. Okay, there's lots of good battery chargers out there. However, this one I want to highlight because for one, it's really sleek looking, and it's only a two battery charger, but one of them is a fast charging, like so. One of them actually will f charge it even faster than the other. So you can even like finish that one and then throw another one in there or the other one, however you want to do it. Um, it's, so it's got a battery built into it to charge on the go. And it has indicators kind of telling you uh, how much battery power is left. If you want to charge both of those batteries as well as the whole battery pack at the same time, you can with USB-C on the back here. And I'll throw that up there at the top. And then it has USB-A. If you want to actually use this thing as a power bank to charge your phone, to even you know plug that into your GoPro and charge that battery that's in there, you can do that. Um, some of the other ones that I've seen out there, they're more bulky. They're more like shaped like a box, maybe even bigger, like a lot bigger than that. So having something like this, it's really slim and sleek and easy to take in your backpack with you if you're traveling or hiking or something like that. So that is the Telesyn. I believe this one does even come with some batteries. So that's a, a great deal. Get some extra batteries and the battery charger for, what was that, 38 uh, I lost the price. Did they even sell it still? <laughs> I unfortunately can't cl click on it here, but I think they do. All right, moving on to the next one here. <coughs> the This is a long, the, like, this has been out for a while and they haven't updated it. And what they did with the Hero 12 versus the other ones is they've improved the system inside of it to make the microphone sound better. For the most part, I believe that the built-in microphones sound the best. And sometimes it's just better to get like a foam housing to cover that up. But 
If you want a more directional microphone, uh, you can use this the, also in the latest, I believe, in Hero 12. So what, how, here's how you do it. Let me go top down here. So you slide it in. So you got your take your battery door off, slide it in. And then you have access to your mounts down here, which can be a huge pain when you're trying to take this thing out and you have it on a mount. So it gives you cold shoe here for a light, cold shoe here at the top for like a light or a microphone as well, like an extra one, if you, external one. The 12 made it so that there's a microphone on the back and the front and you could, before you could choose front or back, um, but now you can choose both, which is nice on the 12 only. The other thing with the media mod is that you have HDMI out now any of the other um, action cameras that are out there, the Action 2, 3, or 4, the Ace Pro, none of them have HDMI out anymore. And that's like a huge thing that a lot of people like to be able to plug it into their TV or plug it into their computer using it as an HDMI source for a webcam, uh, which is a lot better than plugging it in as a USB webcam. Okay, thanks for checking that. Yeah, that one. There is another one out there that would work for that. Um, that should be available. Um, but thanks for checking that one out for me. Uh, yeah, so having it, that HDMI, so mini HDMI, you can go out to the like an HDMI source. Um, it also has USB-C, so you can charge it or plug it into your computer to get your files off of it. And then you have an eighth inch jack for plugging in an external microphone. So if you wanna use this with an external microphone, you can no problem it will work um and work better than the built-in one so hopefully they'll come out with something soon for the 13 it's gonna probably be better but who knows it is plastic it looks flimsy it looks like you can break it i've had this one for a long time and have never broken it broken it i've not it has not broken <laughs> it still holds up and i've not been gentle with it either so it works great media mod check it out now let's jump over to this light here there are a lot of lights that i've looked at from like ulanzi and uh you know budget ones but there's something about the gopro light that sticks out to me and the main thing is for one yeah you have the cold shoe at the bottom you can pop it on your media mod it doesn't it doesn't hold up oh maybe it does <laughs> all right good some of the other ones don't but this one stays in there which is really nice i think it's because they have that plate at the bottom that kind of pops on but other a lot some other accessories that you pop on your uh this does not hold on but look at how small this thing is this thing is tiny so it's not going to take up any room but it is really bright so that is a really bright light if you're trying to get some nighttime shots where you're like walking in a cave or something like that and that's that was the lowest and then you have SOS. So, sorry, that's lowest, medium, brightest. And you have a diffuser that comes with it, pops on here, just to like look a little bit nicer. So it also has, it's waterproof and it has a USB port here that you can pop off and uh, you can plug it in so you can charge it. But the battery lasts a long time. And it's because of that, it's because of how small it is and how bright it is and how great the battery is. I think that this is the best one to get for the GoPro or even for some other cameras uh, or phones or if you're doing anything in the dark. Let's move on to these next two are gonna be a little bit similar. So where is that one? Okay, actually here it is. Yeah, how'd you like those shorts? You probably didn't see them, did you? So this is the uh, Telesyn. Telesyn, obviously they make a lot of GoPro accessories, which is really nice. Um, this is the Telesyn Power Bank Grip. And it's a nice little grip, so you pop your, you know, your camera on there. Let's see, which one do we wanna use here? It is quarter thread. So, if, you know, if, with a 12, you could just pop 
pop it on without that. But you do want that be the ability to be able to move it up and down, like to angle it. So we're gonna keep this here. Let's see. Ah, you saw the shorts. <laughs> Did you mean shorts or shorts? Short shorts. Okay, so this is it right here. Some big, huge benefits to it. It's massive, like it's not heavy, but it's kind of heavy duty. Feels good in your hand. You can use this as like, you know, your vlogging stick. Vlogging stick? Um, and then you can plug it in and it will be charging up your GoPro, like so. You can see it charging. Um, and it has indicator lights. It has a quarter thread on the bottom. So you can put it on tripod legs or something like that. <laughs> and check this out. So it's also a selfie stick and a rather long one too. So you can get a really good vantage point. And because the cord goes through that, you can be charging while it's fully extended. Interesting choice of words, but uh, that's what I said. Okay, so that's a good price. So basically it's gonna extend your battery life a lot longer. You could even have the battery completely out and have it plugged in uh, in case you just want to, if you're worried about it overheating or something, that is a thing that can help. But now looking at the GoPro Volta, because it's slightly similar to that, obviously a uh, much dearer price, but there are some extra things that you get with this that make it worth it. So let's pop our GoPro on the Volta. Let's have a look from the top down. So the advantages to the Volta is another great battery life. That's, that's good, that's awesome. Um, but it has a built-in tripod, so you can stand it up. You can angle your your GoPro. So that's nice. Um, and you can rotate it. And you can use this. It's got a so it's like a, a remote. You got recording. You can change modes. Um, see your battery status. Um, you can see the different modes that it's on at the top. And you can even power on the GoPro with it and power it off. Or you just, maybe you can't, maybe you just power it off. Let's see. Yeah, I think that, oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna update the remote, aren't we? <clears throat> so, have you not seen the Volta? Or were you talking about the other one? The other thing is um, it's got this right here. So these are like GoPro fingers. Oh, you haven't seen the Volta. That, yeah, it's been out for oh, quite a while now. But, um, and why that's significant is, yeah, you can still, uh, let's see, we to pair it with her, the Volta. Sure, why not? Um, is because you can attach this to any, you know, GoPro mounts. Like, so if you have like a backpack mount, if you have like something like on a race car, <laughs> you know, and you want that extra battery life, you can have it set up on there and it's gonna, it's like strong. I love how it pops in and out. It's a cool, look at this, ready? So you press the button, pops out. And then yeah, you can control your GoPro just from, and it doesn't have to be plugged in like it's a it's bluetooth so you can have this thing completely off and use this as a remote as well change modes here let's go all the way back that way there you go so you can see time lapse okay so i mean that's it's cool yeah because it's all in one tripod and uh gives you that extra battery it does come with a door that will fit over that so this can plug into just to keep make Make sure it's not um, too messy. But yeah, it's a great product from GoPro. It's been out for a while and it's held up and and it's durability. Durability. But before we go to the next ones here, let me jump all the way to the last one just because <clears throat> we're still we're talking about the remote 
Telson also has a remote control and this might be more up your alley here. So this remote, it also comes with a, a wrist strap so you can wear it around your wrist. You can control, I, I think it's up to four or five different GoPros at the same time. So if you add them all and you're like, okay, let's hit record, boom, it'll turn them all on. This also has the ability to, this one you can power off and power on your GoPro. You hit record, take photos, whatever, depending on what mode you're in. So you can switch between different modes. And then you have a star feature so that when you're in that mode, you hit the star and it will actually bring up your favorites you like your default one. So if, just in case you're on different settings, you can always rest assured that you know that it's going to be on that one. It also will show your how much time has been recording, um, uh, all that information, which picture or video you're on. So that is, uh, you know, 32 plus, that's where it gets tricky because you have 32 plus the um, hand grip, which is 60, that's 90. Now you're getting closer to the Volta, but Volta also has the tripod built into it so you know we're uh we're, we're working our way at the up to that price another really really great one to look at is the grav grip now this one's tough to show you without the exact footage but i can show you what it does this is the grav grip right here it uses gravity to keep it let's not call it stable because it's not a gimbal it looks like a gimbal and people think that it's a gimbal but it is a uh, not if it looks like a gimbal and acts like a gimbal, what's up, Emma, in the chat? How are you doing? Okay, so what this is going to do, there's all kinds of information on how to set it up properly and even adjust it so uh, it can be slow or fast. But you're going to put this on a selfie stick. And it's going to live upside down. It's gonna live in the upside down. Okay. So this is the grab grip. And so what it's going to do is when you lift it up and lift it down, it's going to stay level. So let's extend this out so we can see exactly. Let me turn that remote off. I'll bring this mic with me so you can hear me from over here. You can see my cool shorts. So if I was gonna get a reveal shot, right? and you go up, see how it stays level with the horizon. And so it's using gravity to keep it straight. So if you go from high to low shots, it's going to keep it uh, balanced. So think of it like uh, in the movies, they'd call that a jib shot. You'd have a big jib and it goes, keeps it straight or whatever. Like you have to, you have to keep it certain levels of straight. Now, when you do it, when you test it out and you actually look back at the footage, you will be blown away. You got that somewhat recently and I love it with your Samsung phone. It does, it, it's harder. I've noticed it's, it's, it works with the phones, but it's harder to keep balanced on the phone. Um, but it does look good with the phone as well as Ken is saying in the chat. Now, the thing that you might be wondering is you're just lifting up a selfie stick. Why would you need that little mechanism you know, you're not really, it's not really clicking. Well, let's, let's let it, let's let it click in for you by doing this. Okay. So what you just saw, right? You saw it lifted up and staying level levels, Jerry. <clears throat> okay. Let's just do the same thing with this, right? I mean, and, and, the perfect world here, I can I can do that by just lifting and extending my arm, as you see. But if, if I was to lift this thing up, see how the GoPro angles up. It doesn't stay level with the shot. Does that make sense now? When you do it, I, I can't stress it enough. The Grav Grip is one of the best accessories you can get. It is a lot of fun to play around with and you can get some really creative shots. Now, if I was going to do a challenge, that would have been a good one. The grab grip challenge. Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. That would be good, though. Um, but let's just have a quick... We're running almost through it all here. Jumping back. Did we skip one? I thought I had this tripod on here, but I, or this uh, selfie stick, but I guess I didn't. 
great selfie stick, but it's not on there, so we'll have to save that for another time. <clears throat> this uh, super clamp from Telesyn, also a must-have. This is like the thing that's going to work with like everything. It's gonna be a great like you can hook this on to like your backpack uh, if you need be. So what is so great about it is you have this bit right here that works for like flat surfaces or uneven surfaces and you can tighten it down and clamp it together right and then you have the magic arm here so you can adjust it how you need to and then you put your gopro up there and it is strong when you tighten it down it is absolutely strong but the other part to it is so if you if you had like a pull then you leave this part open so you, like that and then you can see that the pull design will go there so it doesn't have to be like exactly right in that pull it could be like a pull about that size or even bigger and you just get it around it just a little bit and then you can tighten it and because it's got like the the grip that you see here it will tighten around and also won't destroy it so that is a great grippy thing i've used some other clamps and loved those clamps before but this because of that being able to use it with flat surfaces and pulls that wins it for me okay we're almost done here let's go to this guy right here <clears throat> now this one might look a little bit different than the one in the picture but same same type of thing here it's the necklace mount it's great about that you see that you unclip it put it around your neck Clip it in, you know, you put your GoPro on it. I like that you can uh, take this part out like that. So you can, if you want to like preview footage or, you know, set it up somehow, you could take that off easily, pop the GoPro on there, just like your normal GoPro fingers. And then it'll magnetically kind of, you'll feel it kind of clip into place. It's almost easier when you have a GoPro on there. There we go. And then you can wear it like a necklace. And it's a really comfortable kind of gumby kind of silicone feel, but um, it stays, like when the GoPro's on there, it stays on, it doesn't bounce too much if you're running a little bit, especially if you have Hyper Smooth up and, or the Max Lens mod, you won't, it won't matter about that. Um, but it's a great way to get POV shots really quickly, it's meaning showing your hands, keeping your hands free. It's easy to pop off. And yeah, you can see how it's very, um, kind of contortish and clips in. A lot of people can also use this. A lot of people, if you have it, people can use it uh, as like a little selfie stick. So you can hold it out and use it for vlogging. And you can also use it and set it down as a little tripod if you needed to. So a lot of cool things that you can do with this necklace. I, I rate this really high up on a must have accessory for the GoPro because it has been so useful for me. You, you know, going on a scooter or something like that, it's easy to just to wear that around. It doesn't get in the way too much. So last but not least, let's jump on to <clears throat> my favorite SD card for the GoPros. And it is in here right now. Which one is this one? 128, sweet. So this is it right here. This is the SD card that I would recommend if I can get it under the light, but we'll also show you the overhead shot here. Oh, and you can click on below to see it too. The SanDisk Extreme Pro, I think that the speed of it is just perfect for, you know, that 4K 120 or uh, any of the high resolutions and just keeping it from heating up. It reads, it writes fast, and that's very important uh, when you're using your GoPro. I've, I did one time, I was... I only um, SanDisk Extreme Pro and never had any problems. And then I was like, well, I'll try another one. The one that came with it was the brown one, just the Extreme. <clears throat> and it was freezing. It was locking up all kinds of corrupt files and things like that. So I was like, nope, never again. Switched back. Never had any problems with it. So a lot of people, are, you know, they get worried about it. Which, which SD card to get? That's a very highly looked up uh, question on... Uh, like Google search and so there you have it that is uh, that's the that's the one uh, anybody else watching and lurking thanks again for watching and being here uh, yeah stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time